Okay, what I have is a 92 Corvette with an LT1. Um, when I started it and it was cold, it'd be quiet. When it warmed up a bit, it would make a tapping sound. When, um, when I accelerated, it would go away. And then when um, I slowed back down, get a tapping sound. Okay, anyway, it was a lifter. I just replaced them all to find top dead center. This is what I did. Oh, get, your book, get a book and learn how to repair your car. Don't take my word for it. But on the harmonic balancer, this, there's a cast arrow, and that arrow has got to match up with that raised mark. If you put your finger in there where that arrow is, right there, if you put your finger in and it's not, say that raised mark is over here, you got to unbolt it and turn the harmonic balancer. That mark and that raised mark has to match. Okay, now, um, <clears throat> you, you know, of course, the valve cover, I just replaced everything, fine top dead center. What I did was turn the crankshaft until the intake raised up. When the intake fell, turn it clockwise. When, the, when it fell, I turned it until that mark was at 12. That was at 6, the bolt. And I knew I had top dead center on number one. And I rechecked this online. I knew it's been so many years ago. But then when number one is at top dead center, I could tighten all these. Then I'd turn it basically one turn until number six raised up the intake and fell again. That mark is at 12. The bolt is at six. Now number um, six is at top dead center. And I was able to tighten those. I mean, very simple, but you know, I recommend you do it the way the book says. Um, the other little helpful hint when I was do doing all this is when you adjust your valves, you know, valve lash, like, can you hear that? I'm moving it up and down. I've got a little bit. Well, if I was to sit there and push my socket all the way down while I'm turning it and tightening it, like right now, I've got zero lash, which is false because that little um, like cup that the bolt tightens onto, the socket hits it, which will give you a false reading. So what I do is I barely put the socket on. Let's see if I barely put the socket on. So I'm not touching that cup. Also, when I rem anyway, well, there you go. That's how you find top dead center, or how I did. But don't forget, I had this off and everything when I did it, it was all apart like this side. Well, there you go. So now I just finish up those, assemble it, and I'm done. But that's how you find, or that's how you find the timing mark for an LT1.